Living Social is a Daily Deals website launched in 2007 by Tim O'Shaughnessy and three co-workers from Revolution Health. Based in Washington, D.C., it initially was a Facebook app-making company called Hungry Machine. In 2009, after acquiring BuyYourFriendADrink.com, the founders realized an opportunity to expand into the Daily Deals market and establish Living Social. In just three years, Living Social is now present in more than 620 markets worldwide. Serves more than 70 million customers in 25 countries on six continents. There are five categories instant, families, escapes, adventures, and gourmet. To date, members have purchased over 111 million vouchers. Living Social has grown from 50 employees to over 4,900 throughout the cities where they offer deals. One of the key defining characteristics of Living Social is its organization culture. There are five core values make strong moves, live hungry, recognize others surprise and delight, and champion good ideas. Living Social is looking for people who are fun, informal, flexible, and naturally fit into the culture. It's a think fast company. Employees in all departments work in teams of six to eight members under a director who answers to the head of their department. All employees are encouraged to move fast and take risks. Living Social's view on knowledge is practice-based. Because of the nurture of the job, the experience gained through customer relations and the customer base changes frequently since some of the merchants use the service of Living Social once and new customer relationships are made constantly. According to practice perspective, knowledge cannot easily be separated into tacit or explicit. In Living Social, in order to communicate IT-related aspects, an employer needs to use a code-like language. But in order to talk with customers, they need to use intuition and experience. Both knowledge types have a clear impact on gaining success within the company. According to the practice view, it is the manager's job to develop knowledge sharing culture in the workplace. Living Social has powered a training program called the Hungry Academy to develop the skills of their potential workers. The practice perspective to knowledge management emphasizes the importance of culture and communities of practice. That is why sharing knowledge by rich social interaction is such a key to learning. The management at Living Social makes sure their employees socialize and feel like there is a common culture in the workplace. People work in close teams and participate in team building activities. There are many relaxation and fun activities too, like beer tasting, yoga, video games, and massage chairs offered at the work facilities for people to take a break and get to know their colleagues. The management also encourages the achievement of workers by developing different award schemes. For example, there's an annual award ceremony that has been established to celebrate the success of the company's top workers. According to this senior vice president, Chad Fuller, the Living Social team believes that their hunger and ability to build products quickly is the reason for the company's success. That is why the motto of Living Social is to live hunger, hungry, which according to Fuller means being aggressive and moving fast. The company encourages individuals to set aggressive goals and to have courage to try new things and work beyond their work descriptions. This supports the practice perspective because the management believes their employees will learn and achieve more by doing and exploring new areas of knowledge. Living Social is a fail-fast company. It encourages their employees to try new things and not be afraid of failing. Instead, embrace the failure, learn from it, and get up quickly to try a different approach. As Tim O'Shaughnessy said, more is lost in indecision than the wrong decision. Their general approach to knowledge weds its approach to Earl's seven schools of knowledge management, and in particular to behavioral approaches of the spatial school and strategy schools. The spatial school concentrates on the creation of space both physical and virtual, which provides organization members the possibility to share the knowledge and experiences. Living Social provides opportunities for contactivity. In fact, O'Shaughnessy, their CEO, says that there's an ice cream cooler in his office to encourage colleagues to visit and chat about what they're working on. Moreover, Friday's all-hand meeting webcast from Washington talks with their three main offices about what they are working on. The strategic school concentrates on shaping the mindset, attitudes, and values. From the beginning, the founders do not want to build a company, but a cult, instilling values, energy, and enthusiasm. They want to instill their own hunger of success uh, to the spirit of working. Each year at holiday parties in December, employees and employers decide together by voting a motto for the following year. According to Alveson, knowledge-intensive firms are companies where most workers can be said to be of an intellectual nature and where well-qualified workers get to know the major part of the workforce. Reviewing the characteristics of living social against those of knowledge firms, we can say that the flat and fluid structure is in order to respond quickly to change of environment. The workers need to have the possibility to be flexible and adaptable to work autonomously without rigid structure. 
Horizontal movement and growth are based on perspective with several opportunities to learn and grow. Employees are the key to success. From their work, majorly intellectual, the companies obtain achievements of its objectives. Workers' knowledge, skills, and efforts represent the principal source of competitive advantage as the importance of knowledge management process confirms. Highly skilled workers, strong problem solving abilities, dynamic team players. In other words, living social is an individual who moves fast, able to take risks, stays flexible, fun, and aggressively committed to executing each day. Team and projects, autonomy, creativity, non-routine, and innovative. They create and design their products according to needs of clients. This leads employees to work to ever different solutions. Innovation, creation, and changes are made daily. Non-standard products and services are tailored to experience. Living Social offers something that is more similar to meeting new people and trying new things and experiences rather than a specific product or service. The client joins Living Social rather than buys a specific product. Finally, it's highly competitive and dynamic market. Living Social operates into a market that is highly competitive and fast-changing. It moves in a big and wide market without indefinite and modifiable boundaries, both geographically and quantitatively. Living Social launches one new market a week. The community of practice is a relatively new term in the business environment. It relates to the common transfer of knowledge between groups of people within communities they are that are formed by people who share an activity and work towards a common goal. It is a concept which is being focused on more and more intensively by organizations around the world, and we focus on this theory in relation to the practices of living social. Although the concept is one which takes time to structure and is difficult to implement, Living Social has already adopted many traits of the community practice. The company has created a positive working environment for its entire staff to prosper. By allowing a positive atmosphere to develop, productivity through practice has increased and a greater output has been obtained. This has allowed for the successful expansion of the company into the global marketplace. As a result, the community practice is very much a formula which drives the company's culture rather than the scope structure of the company itself. Community of practice spawns from groups being specialized. Within Living Social, there's a core group of dedicated staff pushing the company forward to gather and promote discounts for their customer base. They are a prime example of a community of practice at work. They have proven their method to be a successful one, which they will continue to use, although the increased numbers of users and discounts being redeemed can be quantified. The increase directly due to the work of the community practice is unquantifiable. Although the Living Social Corporation operates as a community of practice, the division of the company into region-specific teams suggests that the company also works as part of a smaller team groups. These region-specific teams may be further divided into sector-specific teams, with each working towards establishing business relationships with clients in the different market sectors. Living Social offers discounts. Their objectives are clear and formally defined and determined by senior management. However, we believe these divisions may become communities of practice over time, with similar objectives in each country of operation. The teams assembled may further develop their skills to establish relationships with clients and acquire discounts quicker over time. The ability to develop a new client base will only gather momentum as the groups continue to work together in the positive learning environment Living Social has created and may eventually develop into many smaller communities of practice, but with the demand of senior management still to be fulfilled. As previously stated, Living Social's core company values are to make strong moves, recognize others, surprise and delight, champion good ideas, and to live hungry. It is from the last component of the value statement that Living Social's base is its development of the most important company asset, its employees. The candidates who exhibit strength in all of the preliminary rounds receive admission to what Living Social executives call Hunger Academy. Hunger Academy is an intensive program that the company puts all of its top recruits through in order to achieve a to receive a full-time job. The curriculum takes the recruits through some of the fundamentals of the industry, such as coding, product development, and engineering. Additionally, the company places the high value on community outreach during this time, making the prospective employee participate in volunteer opportunities. The program is so imperative to the company message that it receives both a great deal of funding and senior company leadership visibility. In fact, each prospect gets assigned to an, as an apprentice to a company exec. For five months, the person shadows the executive and demonstrates to the executive exactly how hungry they are for their position. At any time the executive does not feel that the person is compatible with the company image, they can veto the hire on the spot. The correct application of the employment process facilitates the continuation of the founding principles of the original Living Social developers. 
The maintenance of a rigid hiring structure ensures every employee rejects apathy and mediocrity in support of creativity, innovative, innovation, and far-reaching thought. Additionally, the team living social invests with the prospect gives the company time to understand the personality and individual idiosyncrasies of each individual. Those specific aspects can ultimately be leveraged in a way to guarantee the congenial relationship amongst the already present employees. Numerous businesses voice their concern with the services LinkedIn provides to them. Many of the companies living social promotes are small and independent. They do not have excess money lying around to spend at a will. When they pay for advertising, though, the coupon deal posting using Living Social comes at a great expense to their bottom line. In the body of most Living Social deals is a section entitled The Fine Print. This section gives all the details of each sale. One of the common features usually present in each deal is a limit one per customer cause. This limitation ensures to the store that their investment will bring in the maximum amount of customers while minimizing repeat customers who would not require the extra dollars in advertising. However, in practice, Living Social does not police this rule. Continued neglect of the fine print policy could alienate Living Social from the companies that contract added services. The group recommends Living Social develop means to ensure new customers use the coupons, such as putting names on each individual purchase receipt, to ensure that the person purchasing it only receives one free coupon, and any gifts that they give only go to a different person. With this, the stores will have to match the name on the coupon and that of the customer at the store to ensure the proper identity. Thank you for listening to our presentation.